Hi there, it's W0EA, and uh, I just want to show you this air core ballon I built today. Um, this is a very simple uh, design for an air core ballon that is uh, great for blocking common mode RF signals uh, that are getting back into your shack. Uh, this particular uh, ballon was built on a 4 inch. Uh, PVC pipe coupling. A yeah, four-inch PVC pipe coupling has a outer diameter of five inches, uh, five and a five and an eighth inches. And uh, I used, uh, let's see, this is RG8. No, I'm sorry, RG6 uh, double braid or quad shielded. Yeah, that's it. Uh, quad shielded RG6 cable. And this is uh, not the cheap stuff. This is pretty good. Uh, it's 29 cents a foot at Lowe's at least the lows here in Plano, and uh, uh, much cheaper than the connectorized RCA garbage. Um, so I would definitely suggest that you get the bulk cable rather than the uh, connectorized stuff if you're going to be using it for feed line. Um, you can put connectors on this. You can put PL259s. You just got to build it up a little bit with some electrical tape or duct tape or whatever tape you choose to use. I like electrical tape because it's black and it gets real sticky and it's hot so it'll expand a little bit and seal up that connector pretty well. You can reuse these connectors Okay, so it, it's really nice because the cable's cheap and if it goes out and gets all wet and gross then you can just replace it and the connectors are still good because that's the expensive part. Anyway, um, like I said, a uh, 5 and an eighth inch outer diameter. There's 12 turns on here that fit just right and uh, just use some uh, zip ties to hold those together. Uh, this should be good for 40 and above. I uh, haven't done much testing on 40 meters at all. Uh, it's daytime still but uh, definitely getting less noise in the shack, uh, RF feedback anyway, in the shack with that. So I've been happy with it so far. Um, read the blog post that goes with this video, and there will be more uh, in-depth information uh, with, uh, about the results. So I think part of the problem that I've been having with my setup here um, with the RF in the shack is... Oh my goodness, that sounds like some dogs are getting in a fight. Um, Part of the problem is I think my only counterpoise is my balcony railing here. And uh, I think I was having some problems with our uh, interface here uh, because the uh, railing is, is uh, rusting. And I put some uh, SWR grease in there. Um, it's not actually SWR grease. It's just some uh, uh, stuff that helps to keep the rust from forming and causing diode interaction between the uh, mount here and the railing. Uh, this is the uh, 100 puff capacitor that I talked about in, uh, I don't know if it was my last article, um, but uh, that helps bring the SWR down on 20 meters a little bit because I think the railing is a little bit long uh, for 20 meters. So. Uh, this gives me 1 to 1 SWR uh, with 75 ohm coax, so uh, just keep in mind that 75 ohm coax does work uh, in a 50 ohm system, so uh, you don't have to worry about that too much. Anyway, that's all for now. Uh, check the blog post for more information about this ballon, and we'll see you next time.